Okay guys, so since we're already halfway through 2018, I thought it would be fun to make a video about my favorite books of the year so far. And I've never done one before, like halfway through the year, but it sounded like a very good idea to me, especially since I've read so many amazing books this year already. Like I've been having a great reading year. I've read 45 books so far and I've loved so many of them. So it was actually quite hard to make this list because I have so many amazing books. Like I could go on and on and on about all the amazing books that I've read so far this year. But I managed to narrow it down to six books. So yeah, let's just get started with this video and then I'm going to talk to you about my six favorite books of the year so far. So first of all on this list I have a book that I've only read very recently. But it is a book that I was anticipating very much and it did not disappoint me. And that is My Plain Jane by Cynthia Hent, Brody Ashton and Jodie Meadows. This is a like retelling of Jane Eyre but this book makes it like really funny and really silly. Basically this book presents itself as being the true story of Jane Eyre and Charlotte Bronte herself is a character in this book and there are also ghosts and all sorts of stuff going on. Like I love this book so so much. It was the uh, sort of sequel to My Lady Jane which I read last year and My Lady Jane was like one of my favorite books of last year so I was so excited to read My Plain Jane and basically My Plain Jane was everything I wanted it to be. It was so funny, it's very light-hearted, it's silly like you're not supposed to take this book serious. But also it's really clever how it like adapts this Jane Eyre story. And yeah I loved it. I also love how the narrator sometimes like directly speak to the reader. Basically just as Jane Eyre does. Yeah this book was funny. It was cute. It was heartwarming. It's definitely the right book if you want to read something lighthearted And something that makes you happy. And yeah my plain Jane. I loved it very much. It's definitely one of my favorite books of the year so far. The next book is another one that I was very much anticipating and that is A Reaper at the Gates by Sabah Tahir. This is the third book in the Ember in the Ashes series. I had been waiting for this book to come out for like two years. The Ember in the Ashes series is one of my favorite fantasy series. I love it so so much. It's basically this series that is inspired by the ancient Roman world. And you have Laia who is this girl who poses as a slave but is actually part of the resistance. And then there's Elias who has to be this like soldier, this mask. But he really doesn't want to be. He wants to be like free of all of this like empire stuff. So yeah this is the third book in the series and basically it was amazing. I had been waiting for this for so long and it really did not disappoint me. I loved it so so much. It was so epic. It was so intense. It was basically one big adventure and there was so much action going on. So much stuff happening. I was so happy to see all my favorite characters again and it was so nice to finally see how the story would continue. And basically this book just destroyed me because it's like it's that kind of book. Cannot say much about it apart from that because of course it's a third book in a series. I can only say that the Ember in the Ashes series like in general is amazing. I can recommend it so so much. A Reaper in the Gates was definitely a very worthy sequel. A very worthy like next book in the series. And now I'm like dying to read the fourth and final book in the series. But we'll probably have to wait another two years for that to come out. But I know that I will love that book as well. Then my next favorite book of the year so far is Daughter of Smoke and Bone by Lainey Taylor. This is the first book in the Daughter of Smoke and Bone trilogy. I read Stranger Dreamer by Lainey Taylor last year and I really loved that book as well. That was one of my favorite books of last year as well. So it only made sense to me to pick up her other series, her series that she's already finished. I heard so many amazing stories about the Daughter of Smoke and Bone series so like my expectations for it were really high. But fortunately everything came through. It was as amazing as everyone said it would be. Basically this is sort of like a fantasy book and it's about a girl named Karu who lives in uh, like two worlds. She lives in our modern day like human world but she also has this like fantasy world filled with all these sorts of creatures. That's really all I can say about it because the story of this book it's quite hard to explain but like you really have to read it and you really have to experience it. And yeah let me just start off by saying like Lainey Taylor's writing is so so gorgeous. I really love it. It's so beautiful and amazing and it makes the like the entire book so much better. And there are not many authors who can do that, who can like write in such a way. But Lainey Taylor definitely can so like that's why she's one of my all time favorite authors right now. And yeah the story was also amazing. Like it was a bit 
like angsty it had a lot of tropes but because it was done in such a good way i didn't mind i actually really enjoyed all of those tropes and i loved how it was also like a bit dramatic at times and i don't know it's just hard to say like this book just makes sense it like fits i love the characters also i love the world building and yeah by now i've also read the second book in this series which i also loved very much but i definitely preferred the first book i think the first book so far is definitely the best but yeah daughter of smoke and bone another one that i loved so so much and i will definitely be finishing this series later this year my next favorite book is another fantasy book i have a lot of fantasy on this list i'm like now realizing but of course fantasy is also one of my favorite genres but anyway that's the name of the wind by patrick rothfuss well you might have heard of this book because it's incredibly popular it's this high fantasy book that is about a a man named quote i believe you pronounce it like that i really don't know but anyway it's about his life story and basically he goes to this sort of university for magic again it's hard to say anything about it apart from that because it's such a like long but also very rich story so much happens in it and like it's a bit weird but also it really really works so yeah i was quite intimidated by this book because it's so massive it's so big but yeah at the beginning of the year i decided to pick it up and i was so happy that i did that this book is amazing it's another one with like such an amazing writing style as i said it's so rich and the world building is amazing and like the entire world is so beautiful and i love the magic i loved all the characters basically i loved everything about this like it is big it takes a little bit of time to get through but it's definitely worth it because like it's so so good but yeah the name of the wind it's so incredible again it's really like an experience i think this is like high fantasy at its best and yeah i just really really loved it and i can't really say anything apart from that so now we're getting to my top two favorite books of the year so far and if you have been following my videos for a little while you might know what those books are the first one is of course children of blood and bone by tomi adiyami i think this book is basically the book release of 2018 so far everyone talks about this book everyone has read it everyone loves it i don't think there's a single person who hasn't at least heard of this book yet children of blood and bone is the first book in again a fantasy series it takes place in this african inspired world and there are these people who have magic but they also don't really have magic anymore and then there's this evil king and there's a crown prince and a runaway princess and the main character Zeely tries to bring magic back again it's an amazing story and again something that is really really well written it's hard to believe that Tomi Adiyami is such a young author and this is her first book because like it is so amazing the story again is really intense and i love the world building it's really fleshed out and what i also love is that this book reads fairly quickly it's again pretty big but actually you can get through it pretty fast and i love how this book is like not very slow but still they do the world building and the characters so well there are not a lot of books that can pull it off and this book can so that's amazing and yeah this book it's emotional it's action-packed it has basically everything you would want from a book and I actually met tomi adiyami um, at yalfest nl and i got um like my book signed as you can see right here and i love it she was such a nice person i cannot wait to read more books by her i cannot wait for the second book in this series i need it like right now i really want to know what's going to happen next and yeah i'm really happy that i picked this up and if you haven't read this yet please do it's really that good and then my favorite book definitely favorite book of this year so far you might know what it is it is of course the nightingale by Kristen henna this is a historical fiction book that takes place during world war ii and it's in france and it's about these two sisters and it's about the resistance and about how they try to survive this is a very popular historical fiction book and this year i finally picked it up and i was blown away by it this book is so incredible it's so amazing it's not only my favorite book of this year it's also like one of my all-time favorite books right now it was emotional it had amazing characters it was so so amazing as you might know i really love historical fiction but i'm also really critical of historical fiction so it's actually quite hard to find a historical fiction book that i really love but this book was just like basically perfect to me it had everything that i want from a historical fiction book it had amazing characters it had a intense and emotional story i just i love it so much i cannot describe it this book made me cry and that almost never happens with me like i never ever cry at books i'm basically a robot 
But this book made me sobbing like I was crying my eyes out. So I think that's a pretty good um, indicator of why I love it so much. Like it's so amazing. If you love historical fiction, please read this. It's like basically the best I've read so far. I love it. I love it so so much it will probably be my favorite book of the entire year and yeah that's basically me fangirling about the nightingale but like i love it so much i cannot say it enough and i will probably keep talking about it a lot more in future videos so yeah that was it for my favorite books of 2018 so far as you can tell i read some amazing books and i'm like so passionate about them i've really found my reading flow and i've gotten really good i think at finding books that i really will love so i'm really happy about that i love it i love reading and i love reading all these amazing books so yeah i cannot wait for all the amazing books that i'm going to read in the second half of this year as well so this was it for this video and if you like this video please go subscribe or maybe give it a thumbs up because i would really appreciate that please let me know down in the comments what your favorite book of the year is so far and then hopefully i will see you again in my next video bye